without involving democratically elected governments of the day, you are not going to find a solution. When we are not willing to do it and we just want the government to pull out some magic wand and create a solution, no. Sadhguru, the, uh, the cause of environment, why… Uh, so that right now is under… under the focus for good or bad reason. This whole United Nations thing which recently happened to that sixteen-year-old girl trying to make a point or… Um, and then uh, of course then there are two sides to it and everyone seems to you know, be making their point. Is there a view that you… Uh, see, I don't… I, I'm not trying to approve or disapprove anybody. But I personally don't believe in simply accusing people because solutions will not come out of this. I, this I learned long time ago. When I was uh, sixteen years old, I was angry with everything in the universe, all right? I was angry with the political system, social systems, family situations, religion, caste and creed, injustice that's happening. I was angry with everything. But then I realized at a certain point that you can produce much more results in the world with acceptance and appreciation rather than simply toxic criticism. This I realized long time ago and I will not go back because I have seen that. I have seen that within myself, what damage it caused to me and everybody around me being angry all the time about something. So, I think a child of sixteen years, we truly appreciate her concern, I am sure Many, many millions of children and adults are concerned. Well, she is talking and she is making a statement, it's fine. But whoever is nurturing, nurturing her, they should not nurture her towards anger. It is important that all of us get together and find a solution. Because if we want a solution without involving democratically elected governments of the day, you are not going to find a solution. You can burn yourself with anger, there will be no solution. Which is what, what these global forums are supposed to do, but then the, the, the contrary point is that there's a lot of talk, but, a, but little action. See, it is true, there's a lot, lot more talk than action. Isn't that the way you have chosen? Democracy means, see, you're in the media, you like to talk. If you don't let you talk, even if you're eating well, if you're not allowed to talk, you say there's no freedom of speech and make big fuss about it. So naturally there'll be more talk than action. Does it mean to say there's no action? No, India has taken huge steps towards energy, you know, uh, making sustainable energy and all this stuff. For a country like India, it's mega steps. Well, is every country doing what it needs to do? Maybe not. It is not doing, I know that. but. People who live in those countries, are they willing to make the sacrifices? Is it just political leaders? I don't think so. People are not willing to make any sacrifice. If you ask everybody in Delhi to walk one day to their office, will they? No. Then how come you say pollution, pollution? Something you must do, right? I'm not saying everybody should walk. I'm saying in some way, what we want the government to do, the fallout of that, we must be willing to swallow that, isn't it? In some way, when we are not willing to do it and we just want the government to pull out some magic wand and create a solution, no. This is why I engage the farmer, I engage the government and now I am trying to engage the civil society. Could you um, um, give a choice advice because this, this government and this political leadership is enjoying a kind of support that's not been seen before on an international platform. Is there a certain um, further advice that you'd want to give them to let the world know that India is taking big leaps and steps? I think they've made those steps very strong in the water week. Just now, Jal Shakti minister was here. In the water week in Stockholm, they made a clear statement what they're doing. They are doing. But do you think the pressure on polit… Uh, on po uh, pressure of population on this uh, land and this government is small, the way we're multiplying? So right now, if Jal Shakti ministry, let's say it's not there, it's not in their uh, prerogative to do that, let us say, this is how the amount of water, so by 2030 you must reduce your population to this much, so don't have children for five years voluntarily. Will you do it? Then how? When you are the problem and you want somebody else to find the solution, how? The only problem you have in the world and especially in India, we think there are many problems. No, there are many, no many problems. There's only one problem, population, all right? If you don't cap that consciously 
and nature will do it to you in a very cruel manner. You're waiting for it to happen.